Hello from Waves and hello from SlideNerd. What's up folks? In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a fragment to an activity in Java. Here I'm using Android Studio. I have a project created. I have a main activity with nothing inside. I have an activity underscore main.xml, the layout file with a background blue color. Now the first step I need to do is create a fragment class. So going to this package here, right click new Java class. I'll call it my fragment. Click OK. At this point, it's a plain old Java class which you have. So I'm going to say extends fragment. This will give me the functionality of a fragment. And at this point, there is probably an error. Press Alt Enter in Android Studio import class and we are done. The next thing I need to do is create a layout for this fragment. Just like we create a separate layout for an activity. For that, I'll select the layout folder here. Right click new layout resource file. Call it my fragment layout. I'll keep the root as a relative layout and there you go something has been created for us it has nothing inside I bet go to the text tab at the bottom and there we have our relative layout inside this I'm gonna add a text view by going to the design tab large text go back to the text tab instead of the text I'll say hello from fragment I'll give this layout a background color by saying background has ffbb00 orange color also make this text uh, with some margin I'm gonna say margin here 40 dp on all four sides and we're pretty much done with this now going back to our activity underscore main dot xml now this relative layout inside this I'm gonna add the fragment but not in xml but in Java for that the first thing I need is an ID to this relative layout so I'm gonna say ID here ID I'll call it my layout and that's pretty much everything now going back to our my fragment class here we need to link this layout file that we created for our fragment to the Java code for the fragment, right? That is done inside the onCreateView method. I'm going to say onCreateView. Remove this default statements which we have. We need to return a view object, and that view object can be constructed by saying inflator dot inflate r dot layout, which is our fragment layout file. It is this file r dot layout dot my fragment layout, and a container with false parameter. Now, if you guys are not familiar with this inflator.inflate method there's a whole lot of things going on here I have a separate video on my playlist called layout inflator please go back and check it out if you're not sure about this because there are many things to explain and I'm not gonna do that in this video so this links our appearance because this is gonna return a view object and that is going to this return statement now going back our main activity here inside the on create method we are going to add the fragment to our activity in Java code so the first thing we need to do is get a reference to the fragment manager by saying fragment manager manager is get fragment manager the activity has a direct access to get fragment manager and then you can say manager dot begin transaction if you guys remember fragments are added by means of transactions here adding removing replacing fragments is considered as performing a transaction so before performing the actual transaction you begin it then you say transaction dot add as you guys notice we have three options here so I'm gonna take the first option which says fragment dot add the first int parameter here for this third one represents the group inside which I want to add the fragment so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say r dot id dot my layout I want to add this fragment inside this relative layout which belongs to my activity right so for that I need to supply this id so that the fragment is added over here so going back to our main activity the second thing I need to do is I need an object of the fragment so for that first I'll have to create the object I'm gonna say my fragment frag equals to new my fragment then we can pass frag here the third parameter I need is a string which is a tag or in other words a simple string that you can relate with this object it's like key value pairs you have the value here you give the key here later you can use the key to retrieve the value so here I'm gonna say Wibs fragment. The most important thing we need to do now is commit the transaction. So I'm gonna say transaction dot commit and we are done. This is all the steps needed to add a fragment. So now let's go and run this. I can run at the top. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our fragment added right inside the activity. Now the reason you don't see the activity is because the fragment is taking up all the space, and that happens here inside this match parent for the relative layout and this other match parent which we have for our layout height if I put a wrap content here 
will probably see the activity also so now let's let me control s run this again so now the layout of the fragment is designed to occupy only as much height as it requires that means the activities main is going to have the full width the fragment is going to have a width of match parent and a height of wrap content and that is the reason why you see the orange colored block which is our fragment and then behind that you see our blue colored block which is the activity so i hope you guys have understood something about how fragments work in java if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day